In this lecture, we will learn binary number representation. There are four ways. First one is unsigned magnitude. Second one is signed magnitude. Third one is one's complement. And last one is two's complement. In case of unsigned magnitude, we can represent only positive binary numbers. Let me write this down. We can represent only positive binary numbers. And in case of signed magnitude, we can represent both positive both positive and negative binary numbers. In case of one's complement representation, we can represent positive and negative binary numbers. And in case of two's complement representation, again we can represent positive and negative binary numbers. So in unsigned, we can only represent positive. And in case of signed one's complement and two's complement, we can represent both positive and negative binary numbers. In all four representations, positive number is represented in same way. I will write this down. In all four representations, positive number is represented in same way. This is very important point and uh, thus we have to focus only on negative number representation. In this lecture, we will focus on unsigned and sign magnitude representation and in the next lecture we will study one's complement. So let's start with unsigned magnitude representation. If I want to represent plus 6 then it will be represented as 1 1 0 and if I want to represent minus 6 then we can't represent minus 6 because in case of unsigned magnitude representation we can only represent positive binary numbers. Now we will move to signed magnitude the most important part of this presentation. In case of signed magnitude we can definitely represent positive and negative binary numbers and if I want to represent positive of 6 then first I will represent the magnitude. The magnitude is 1 1 0 this is the representation of 6 and now I have to add one extra bit 0 and this extra bit is called as sine bit and if this sine bit is 0 the number is positive and if this sine bit is 1 the number is negative for example if I want to represent minus 6 then again I will represent the magnitude first 1 1 0 and then I will add 1 as MSB so this 0 and 1 are sign bit and they are MSB of the number right this is MSB the rightmost bit of the number and 110 is the magnitude so in case of sign magnitude representation we have two parts first one is the sign bit which decides whether the number is positive or negative and the second part is the magnitude of the number so let me write this down if sign bit sign bit is 0 this implies number is positive and if sign bit is 1 this implies number is negative so this is important we will see one more example let's represent plus of 13 so this 13 I will represent first it is 1 1 0 1 the magnitude and for this plus I will add 0 so positive of 13 in case of sign magnitude representation is represented by 0 1 1 0 1 and if I want to represent minus of 13 then again I will do the same thing I will represent 13 first the magnitude part and then this minus will add 1 here so minus 13 is 1 1 1 0 1 in case of sign magnitude. I hope this is clear to you. Now we will move to next part of this presentation that is range of signed magnitude. The range of signed magnitude is from minus of 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus 1 to plus of 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus 1. So this is the range for signed magnitude where n where n is the number of variables and for four variables n is equal to 4 
So we have minus of 2 raised to power 3 minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, 2 plus of 2 raised to power 3 minus 1, 2 raised to power 3 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. So minus 7 to plus 7 is the range of sign magnitude for 4 variables. Now we will move to homework problems. I have 3 homework problems for you. In first homework problem you have to represent plus 5 and minus 5. In second homework problem you have to represent plus 9 and minus 9. In third and last homework problem you have to represent plus 16 and minus 16. And for representation use signed magnitude representation. Okay. So this is all for this presentation. See you in the next one.